Scott, it was sunny and mild today. 75 your high temperature after a comfortable morning low of 51 and not too far off the averages of 76 and 56. We're going to warm it up tomorrow, so not nearly as comfortable out the door. Humidity starts to climb. We're at 64 at 8 a.m. 72 at noon highs tomorrow afternoon 80 to 85. Two days to stay weather aware. We're under the risk for severe storms both Wednesday and Thursday. What we're tracking is a large, slow moving storm system. It's already bringing storms and heavy rain from parts of Minnesota all the way south through portions of East Texas. This is the storm system that we're going to keep an eye on. Doesn't get here the next couple of hours, but sometime between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. Showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder as we kick off our Wednesday. That's 8 a.m. If you do need some dry time tomorrow, I do think you get some hours, especially the middle part of the day before the heat starts to destabilize the atmosphere and we get additional showers and storms firing up. That'll be late afternoon, early evening. That was 5 p.m. We'll stop it at 11 o'clock tomorrow night. A lot of this will be daylight driven, so we lose daylight, we lose the coverage and intensity, but we're still with the storm system on Thursday. What that means for Thursday afternoon, more showers, more storms, risk for a few strong to severe thunderstorms, and again, large slow moving storm system still with us on Friday. If we would happen to get under the center of this system, that would mean some dry time for carb day with the majority of the steady rain rotating around the center of it. Just something we'll have to keep an eye on. For now, we include rain chances on Friday as well and a much cooler day for carb day 67. Sunshine for the parade 76, race day sunny and 84. Memorial Day, we near 90.